I want to present to you this morning a list of people who should all be in prison. All the people I'm about to name and give you, all of them, every last one of them should be behind bars. Here's why. Almost two-thirds of all coronavirus deaths in America, 62%, have occurred in six states, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Michigan, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. Yet collectively, these six states only account for 18% of the total U.S. population. So what happened here? Why was there so much more death there in these six states compared to everywhere else? Because since early April, a majority of deaths nationwide from coronavirus have occurred in long-term elderly care. And those were the six states whose governors ordered their nursing homes to repopulate their facilities with COVID-19 infected. These are their names. Get to know them. These are the governors. Lamont in Connecticut. Baker in Massachusetts. Whitmer in Michigan. Murphy in New Jersey. Cuomo in New York. Wolf in Pennsylvania. They are the six governors that made this morally reprehensible decision that killed thousands. But they're also not alone. On March 13th, the Centers for Medicare, for Medicare and Medicaid Services, which was charged with implementing CDC guidelines for the handling of COVID-19 within our nation's nursing homes, issued a memo that day that included the following guideline, and I quote, Nursing homes should admit any individuals that they would normally admit to their facility, including individuals from hospitals where a case of COVID-19 was or is present. Unquote. The guideline goes on to instruct nursing homes to install a separate wing for those coming and going from the hospital to be observed for 14 days to see if they exhibit symptoms. So this instruction was clearly meant to encourage states to risk readmitting COVID-19 infected into their nursing homes. The memo was issued by this man, David R. Wright, the director of CMS Quality and Safety Oversight. He, along with everyone else in the organization who signed off on this, should also be criminally prosecuted. So the governors implemented this morally reprehensible policy. They should all be impeached and then prosecuted. The CMS instructed it, and everyone in their chain of command should be criminally prosecuted. But who inspired it? Where did the original idea for this heinous policy, one of the worst, this is our generation's Agent Orange, folks. This is our generation's MK Ultra. This is our generation's Japanese internment camps. One of the absolute most morally reprehensible policies in American history. And certainly one of the worst of this era. Where did this idea come from? That we had to reinfect nursing homes with COVID-19 infected. It came from here. The IHME model from the University of Washington and the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation was taken as gospel and used by doctors Fauci and Burks to convince President Trump to extend the lockdowns 30 days beyond the original 15 days to flatten the curve. We could write an entire book on all the wrong projections made by this trash model, which enslaved this country all spring. For example, IHME told Governor Cuomo his state was going to need 140,000 hospital beds to deal with this pandemic. We only have one city in Iowa. My whole state only has one city with more than 140,000 people in it. And that's how many hospital beds IHME told governors like Cuomo they were going to need. Except what actually happened is Governor Cuomo then emptied his hospitals, anticipating this was the stand 
And that included repopulating nursing homes with discharged COVID-19 infected. This is also why these other governors, they did it for that reason too. We had to empty the hospitals. We have to clear the deck. It's the end of the world. Except here's what actually happened in New York. New York never needed more than 19,000 hospital beds, even at the pandemic's peak. Now, that is still a serious outbreak, but not one that turned the state into Lombardy, Italy, by any means. They were never close to being completely overrun, as IHME warned. Now, I, I tried to find, is there, is there a benefit of the doubt for these governors that they took a terrible suggestion and ran with it? But here's the problem with offering that to them. These same governors also said, take the healthy children and send them all home from school. Take the healthy adults, close down all their businesses and send them home from work. So on one hand, you thought that this was potentially devastating enough that you had to send the healthiest populations home to be quarantined. But then on the other hand, you recklessly chose to reinfect the most vulnerable populations. How do these instincts, how do they jive? Hail Hydra. You, you, exactly. You cannot reconcile these instincts. It doesn't make any sense. It's either you're bipolar or something else is going on. And that's why they all need to be criminally prosecuted to find out if or what the something else that was going on was. And they are welcome in a court of law under oath with their own attorneys and representatives to prove, no, we just are that bad at this. Or was it malfeasance? But that's why there's no benefit of the doubt. Because the instincts that, that, that drove them to make the decisions they made don't reconcile. Let's continue with the IHME model. Christopher Murray is the director of the IHME model, which was the origin of all the domestic doomsday prophecies that never happened, but did cause thousands of elderly to die and our entire economy to tank. He inspired this morally reprehensible move. He should also be criminally prosecuted. The way we've handled this pandemic is a series of the worst management decisions any nation has ever made. And we continue to come out from underneath it slower than any other industrialized nation on earth. To rectify this, we need accountability. We need criminal Nuremberg-like tribunals. We need ultimate transparency because this was the greatest threat to our way of life we have faced in a generation. Therefore, we need to make an example of all those involved so that this never happens again.